everybody, it's Missy Wolf, and we're coming at you from CRS with Glenn Templeton. Ooh, How are you? CRS. I know. Can you believe it's been a year since the last one? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I know, it's crazy. Time's going by so fast, and I've it had a is. good time ever since the last time, too. I've seen y'all several times I since know, then. it's so much fun, but yeah. I have to tell you, today, my favorite part of the day was watching you and all of the fans coming up to you in the lobby. Like, everybody wants a piece of you. Everybody wants to talk to you. Everybody wants their picture taken with you. It's fantastic. I know. I feel like Garth Brooks, my role right? model. Everybody right? wants to come up and get a picture, and it just feels really, really great. Well, I can't do it without them. Right? Neither of us can. And then you were, the, the one lady was so sweet. You just looked at her, you're like, you want to hug my neck, don't you? And <laughs> I, was, I did. I was, but, but you've seen her how many years now, you think? Oh, uh, this is like the seventh year in a row I've seen her down there. I don't know her name. She never says her name, but she always comes up and she goes, this is our annual photo. And she says it every time. And she Aww. goes, Glenn. I'm like, yes, ma'am. You want to hug my neck, don't you? Oh, every she's... year. And she comes over, she hugs my neck. And this year it was just a little bit more special because yeah. she came from being sick to here. So. So how, so how did you know that she was sick? She just told me in the lobby. Oh. She liked that voice. That was nothing, sweet. Nothing like my country voice. <laughs> it was <laughs> sweet. No, nothing like my country voice. <laughs> you got my husband. He's cracking up <laughs> behind the camera. That's funny. But no, those moments right there, those real moments, that's what I live for. That's mm -hmm. what I love observing, watching fans interact with artists right. that they just absolutely admire and love. And I've always told you, you're like the best at, at interacting with fans. And you just, you don't go at it like, oh yeah, I'm Glenn Templeton and I'm famous and I'm an, an artist. You just go at it as this person is wanting to say hi to me and I'm going to give them some attention. Everybody, every one of my fans deserves to be validated. Mm -hmm. Every single person who comes to a show, who buys a ticket, who shows up, and I mean, this is CRS and we still yes. have fans to show up to want to come up and hug your neck and tell you it's good to see you. And mm -hmm. uh, I think that's what country music is all about. Right. Is, is not just so much the songs, it's about what's behind the song. Yes. What's who is who is the female who's on the other side of the microphone? Who's the male who's on the other side right. of the microphone? Right. What is their story? Who are they really? Exactly. And I think that's what country music is just a platform for us to be able to say it's okay just to be genuine right right you know, still today it's still okay to be genuine yeah I mean um, my name is not who I am I am who I am and that just brings a name absolutely yeah. absolutely well it, it, it's so much fun and you have got so much going on you've got new stuff you're excited about oh man Oh man! I, I know. Look at know. it. <laughs> it's all you know. We always talk about a single at, at CRS, and everybody's always talking about their single. And we have an entire album that's mm -hmm. almost ready. It's a seven-song EP album. And I've done a lot waiting. of recording since I've lived here. Yeah. As, as we all of us know who are sitting in this room, I've yes. done a lot of recording, and. This is the best stuff I've ever done in my life. I feel like it's so true to me. I feel like it's so true to the fan base that's out there who um, are just so, they're so loyal. Um, yeah. I feel like this is just a great connecting point. Like this is the, this is the material yes. that's gonna connect us even on a on a closer basis. Right, right. Yeah. Well, I, I hope that the woman downstairs watches this because I need her to comment her name and I know that she's one of those fans that's going to just be getting your music the second it comes out. Exactly. We're going to go get it. Right? But I, yeah, we need to get her yeah, we'll name get because I I'm, I just, I want to tell her how much that that moment meant to me watching it and she was literally the calmest fan I've ever seen yeah. and she was just like, I'm here to do my thing. I did my thing, got my photo and just let you go on your way and it was fun but it was also fun watching the people all Tommy noticed somebody was like they spotted you they tracked you and they just made a beeline for you as we were walking down <laughs> I know that guy from Alabama he's yeah. just a guy who's in radio and he just comes up to hug my neck and say hey it's good to see you and I love you brother you know what yeah you know how good that feels for an old boy from Tuscaloosa Alabama who grew up on 12 wheels right and little old, just a little old 12 by 70 single wide trailer and I get to sing for a living and have people come up and say that they're so inspired by music and that mm -hmm. they love me and they're proud to see that I'm doing what I'm doing. That makes me feel great. I'm like, I think that is the greatest part about CRS. I mean, you get to reunite with all of your, you know, fellow artists and, and yeah. PR people that you know, people that you've met in the industry. But when you have somebody who's like chasing you down, like that's just got to feel so amazing. Like, it does. That's, it, that's the, that's the. I think that's the spine of our industry is <laughs> right. the people who we involve ourselves with yeah. 
and um, I have great friends of the industry, great fans of the industry, and um, just like yourselves, I'm always so grateful to be able to that you'll come up and oh my gosh, we, we love you together. Yes, that's not even a question. You just tell me where to be, and I'll be there. I, I know, and the, <laughs> you know that feeling's mutual. And oh so we've gosh. got a lot. Of, we've got a long, long career ahead yes. of us. What we need to do is someday do no business just go hang out and have fun that's what we need to do we do my wife's sitting over there going yes we need to i don't care i don't care what it is whether it's a day of bowling or whatever like i don't care we just need to go out and be silly and have fun no cameras no no yeah. business just yeah. have fun and, and always we can get stuck in the middle of, mm -hmm. of what we do because we're passionate right. about it every we can all get stuck in the middle of what we do but there is that place when you operate from an independent standpoint mm -hmm. where you have to make time for one another that yes. has nothing to do with your business because right. we are passionate about it and it does come up in every subject but the thing we want to do is make that separation so that I really can make time for my friends and really yeah. take make time for my wife on that level rather than just on a always a business level right. so I'm down for it and if it comes See? to eating I'm ready to eat and you never know we might come up with some really cool song ideas for you we, you know we may do it I've I got mean, some brand new stuff that I'd love to add to exactly I'd love to add to now it. when you're creating a project how hard is it for you to choose the songs that are going on that album um sometimes it's it can be pretty difficult unless it's just undeniable mm -hmm. I can get between a couple of songs maybe that uh, I feel like well this one's as good in this way and this one's better this way and it's kind of hard to choose between those two yeah. but when they're undeniable that undeniable song will always rise to the top yeah but I, I feel like it's the songs that connect and, and they don't say um, something two millions but they speak four millions right. those songs are the ones that stand above whether I write it, whether somebody else writes it, mm -hmm. I'm just a fan of songs. Absolutely. Um, I think our industry is so driven by songs and sometimes we can forget how much our industry desires emotional yes. songs. We don't yep. have any of that, hardly any more. It's, it's, they're getting fewer mm -hmm. and further between. And so I love hearing songs that are very emotional and, and that, that move me, not like something that you hear on the radio, which is right. what I'm grateful to find in independent artists. They're not chanting my name over there. They're not chanting my name. That's all somebody else over there doing that. Oh my gosh. In the next room, you guys, they're playing live music and it's just so fun. And the, the people out there, as you were coming in, they were all wanting a piece of you. Like, and, I, and we're like, we, we got business to take care of. We got it, business to take care of. But it's so much fun. And this is what I love about the yeah. music industry is just everybody supporting everyone. Everybody's yeah. waiting for that next song, the next big thing. And, yeah. and they want to see you succeed. And everybody's yes. like supporting. And it's just, God, it's so much fun. Yes, it's so much fun. It's so what fun. is your favorite part about CRS then? I think just what, about what we talked yeah. about. I think it's getting to see the people and reuniting with the uh, the radio fans that I've built uh, and the industry fans and, and friends that I've built over the past you know years that I've been recording and touring. Mm -hmm. And I've met people from every state in, in the continental U.S. Right. And uh, to have all of them come to my town where yes. I live at and where we are that it there's a lot of stress off of well I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it because right. you know we're getting in a little bit later we had a little bit of a bus problem or there's yes. none of that it's just they come to town and we can just show up and everybody's here it's like right. every radio station is right here and you know what else is amazing to me is the opportunities mm -hmm. there are always somebody somewhere is like hey you know what I know this person you need to meet because I think they can do this. Or I mean, as we were right. walking in, I think somebody was presenting you with like, hey, I know yeah. there's somebody I want you to meet. It book you know? shows up on the East Coast. Yeah. Let me, let me, so there's a lot of that. You're exactly right. It, it, there's a lot of that connection, that networking that's involved in what we right. do and huge platform for See, us. And that's the big difference between artists that show up here, they get those opportunities because right. the ones who aren't here, they're not, they're not getting that opportunity. Those people like are not able to talk to them when That's they're right. not here That's so right. i i want to thank you for being here and, and for taking the time to actually chat with us and um i know we we got to come up to your room which is kind of fun i'm so um, grateful because i get to get out of the, the media I'm, room for I'm a so while grateful. oh my gosh but but this is what it's about it's about showing up and being there because i think we all have to work together to grow absolutely and it's it's not just you know this media person can do this on their own we need you absolutely you know? and we need one another yeah in, in this industry we, we we build this thing together 
as and make it one. Yes. And there's so many people who are working so hard behind the scenes. You got your husband's behind the camera. My wife's over there. She's got yep. the cue cards in her hand. She's no, I'm just kidding. They're the She's schedulers, <laughs> right? They're, they're, the the, they're the schedulers because I the train stress for a long out. Time. Yeah. I can't do it. I'm way too stressed out. I'm yeah. like, nope, Tommy, you no. got to handle this. I cannot. And, and my wife's a school teacher. You know, back <laughs> yep. in the day, and she, you know what? She still teaches me every single day how to be more on time. Yep. She's a planner. Yeah. Her job is to plan, and, and she does a great job at it. I mean, that's, that's the reason we get to operate independently is because of what goes on behind the scenes. Yes. And the fans that keep showing up, it's it's because there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes. So I'm grateful to be here today yes. and have been a part of this, and, and I'm glad y'all so came good. up. Oh, I'm so it's glad, too. It's always so good to see you. It's, it's fun. But tell fans where they can go to find you to get more great content because you're amazing. Glenn-Templeton.com. We have an official Glenn Templeton Facebook page, and it's at Glenn Templeton Tour is our Instagram. Yes. So make sure you follow us on all those platforms. We're just trying to get music out mm -hmm. on an independent level. And I've, I can't wait for you to hear this, brand new I know, stuff. I know. I can't wait either. I, I know. I can't wait for you to it's hear gonna it. It's going to be so much fun. So, all right, guys. Well, you heard him. You know where to find him. Be sure to follow him if you're not already because he is fantastic. And he actually runs social media, him and his wife. So, you know, you're getting the real deal here. So until next time, guys, we'll see you soon. <laughs>